Hello, my name is Lou, and I want to do a quick video about um, remote controls. Remote controls for your devices. Um, there's some easy things to do when your remote stops working, and I just thought I'd show you a couple of tricks I learned. Um, it was very helpful as I was an electronic technician for 40 years, but almost more helpful at home for the TVs and uh, DVDs and VCRs and stuff like that. Almost all of them have an LED that emits light um, to control your device. The thing is, is that the light that comes out of the LED is not visible by the human eye. So the trick I learned was that you take your cell phone, put the camera on, Put the camera on and press a button. You could see that that's the light you could see through a camera. Now cameras see in different frequencies than the human eye, so that's a way to tell. Also, that's a camera, so if I push a button here, you could see the light. But that's only because it's going through a camera. If you look at it like, if you look at it through your own eyes, you can't see anything. So by doing that, by using your phone to look at your uh, remote, you've learned a couple of things right away. First of all, you don't even have to open the case up. The battery's working. If the light blinks, the battery's good, and the button you pressed is good. So, if you're having a problem controlling a device, then it's not the remote, it's the uh, device itself, or some other problem. The other thing that can happen is, and is very common, I use this one a lot because um, I edit out commercials on TV shows that I'm uh, recording. Um, the buttons you use the most... It starts to, you have to press them harder to get them to work, harder and harder. And then finally they just stop working. So that's what I want to address here. We're going to recondition this remote. Now, of course, there's many different remotes. And you can certainly go and get yourself a universal remote for $10, $15. And they're great if you can figure out the codes to control your devices with them. Um, I always found that it's just easier to fix the one that I know works as opposed to the one that I'm not sure about. So step one is to take the batteries out. This particular one has two screws, one here and one here. So I'll take those screws out. Be sure to look all over for the screws. You, sometimes they hide them under little rubber feet. You might have to pull the rubber feet off to get to a screw. Now this one snaps together, so the black outer cover, you have to sort of peel it out so that the snaps come undone. Um, I'm just using a knife to do that, and it pops off, and you kind of work your way down to the bottom. You don't want to do it very hard or break the plastic, but if you're careful and you just sort of inch your way, Pulling outward, sort of, it'll uh, it'll come undone. Go around the back. There we are. Here's the uh, printed circuit card. It has only one chip. It has only one chip, and um, 
that controls the whole thing. Here's the LED that emits the light signal to the device and it sits right here like that. Here are the um, the ends for the batteries and then this part here uh, connects the batteries together when it's together. Um, one good thing to do is to um, get a pencil eraser or a little soft sandpaper and clean these up here and here. You could clean the contacts. Um, I use isopropyl alcohol and some Q-tips to clean all the surfaces. That's basically what you do to recondition these. Now here you can see that this has a bunch of pads and these get very dirty. Uh, sometimes you spill stuff on them. They get very dirty so you want to clean these pads off, dip it in the alcohol and rub them. Let the alcohol evaporate and you do the, this, this is, is a rubber pad here. You can just peel that up. I already cleaned this so I'm going to put it back. So you, you take the rubber pad off, clean all the buttons, you know, make sure that they come through here. Oh, number five is out of place. Right. Get the isopropyl alcohol and clean these tabs. These tabs touch these pads on the card and it changes the capacitance and that's how the buttons work. It's just by touch. Make sure that the buttons come through like that. Once you have cleaned these all up and cleaned all these touch pads. You just put everything back together. When I cleaned this the first time, it was very dirty. I mean, I went through about five or six of these, and the ends were black, covered with stuff. So on this one, you have the plus side for the battery. That slides into a slot here. You want to be sure to get that right. So you want to put this plus part right into the slot. Here we go. And then check that one, make sure it's right. And then it just snaps down. Just sort of squeeze and make sure it's all the way around. So now you have um, that's in the right spot. Check your contacts here. Put the batteries in. The cover. And then check it with your phone. Now because this is a camera you could see it but if you were just looking at it with your eye you wouldn't see it so you use your phone you use your phone to check it you press a button any button really and you could see the light that quick check is so handy um, because you don't have to take the cover off you just check that you know the battery's working and you know the buttons working and you know that checks out like 99% the circuitry's working 99% of the whole thing is working so it's a quick easy check well I hope that was helpful to you and that you use it at your home and at work and thanks for watching <laughs>